Welcome back to Craft Story Time at the Huntington Beach Public Library. My name is Miss Marvel and I hope you guys are doing well. My friends, what do you think our theme is for this week? Any ideas? What do you think? If you guessed 4th of July, you're right. Our theme for this week is 4th of July. Our first book is called Apple Pie 4th of July and it is by Janet S. Wong. Seven days a week, 52 weeks, 364 days of the year, and 365 in a leap year. Our store is open. Christmas is the only day we close. Even on Thanksgiving, we open the store. Even on New Year's, even today, 4th of July, our store is open. I hear the parade coming this way. Boom, boom, boom. I smell apple pie in Laura's oven upstairs. And chow mein in our kitchen. Chow mein! Chinese food on 4th of July? No one wants Chinese food on 4th of July, I say. Fireworks are Chinese, Father says. And hands me a, pa a pan full of sweet and sour pork. I hear the parade, boom, boom, boom. I hear the parade passing by. Noon and customers come for soda and potato chips. One o'clock and then they buy ice cream. Two o'clock, the egg rolls are getting hard. Three o'clock, Ice and matches, four o'clock, and the noodles feel like shoelaces. No one wants Chinese food on 4th of July, I say. My mother piles noodles on my plate. My parents do not understand all American things. They were not born here. Even though my father has lived here since he was 12, even though my mother loves apple pie, I cannot expect them to know Americans, do not eat Chinese food on 4th of July. I don't think she likes it either. So I straighten the milk and the videos and sample a few new candy bars until 5 o'clock when two hungry customers walk inside for some Chinese food to go. I tell them, no one, no one came, so we ate it all up ourselves. But they smell food in the kitchen now. Ah, she tried to trick them and say they ate it all up, but they can smell the food. And mother walks through the swinging doors holding a tray of chow mein, and father follows her step for step with a brand new pan of sweet and sour pork. And three more people get in line. 11 more at 6 o'clock, 9 at 7, and 12 by 8. Oh, people are hungry now. More and more and more and more. Until it's time to close the store. Time to climb to our rooftop chairs way high beyond the crowd. where we sit and watch the fireworks show. And eat our apple pie. The end, yay! All right guys, our second book is called Red, White and Boom. And it was written by Lee Wardlaw. Red, white, blue, curbside view. Flags unfurl, batons twirl. 
Bugles call, marchers tall, glossy boots, glove salutes. Whistles drill, fifers trill. Shoulder seat, thumping beat. July four drums down the street. Blue, red, white, tugging kite. Frisbee zips, doggy flips, spike the ball. Picnic sprawl. Corn cob sweet, drippy treat. Melon grinds, juicy chins. Hot foot dash, splutter splash, castle moats, seaweed boats. Shoulder seats, seagull fleet, July 4 with sandy feet. Firefly split, sparkler spit, pinwheel spin, goosebump skin. Ooh, especially when it gets chilly out. Peacock plume, sunburst bloom, star flake spill, heart thump thrill. Rocket swing, crackle sing, burst and zoom, red, white, boom. Oohs and ahs, cheers, applause, shoulder sighs, and drowsy eyes. <sighs> white, blue, red, sleepy head, July 4th. Parades home to bed. The end. Yay! <laughs> Our last story is called Mouse's First Summer, and it was written by Lauren Thompson. One sunny summer day. Mouse and Minka came along to play. Tiptoe quick, off went Minka. Wait for me, said Mouse. What's over here, wondered Mouse. Drippy sweet, wet, red watermelon. Tasty, said Minka. under there, wondered Mouse. Marching, munching, bold black ants. Out of the way, said Minka. What's down there, wondered Mouse. Tipsy, tumbly, tickly, green grass. Whee, says Minka. They're rolling down the hill. wondered Mouse. Oh, so high, bright blue sky. Ooh, said Minka. What's this for, wondered Mouse? Fluttery float, an orange kite. Hold on, said Minka. Summer is perfect weather for kite flying too. It's so much fun. wondered mouse sweet tart sip yellow lemonade whoops said minka she accidentally spilled hers what do we do with this wondered mouse nibbly crumb soft white bread Ooh. Sticky smooth brown peanut butter. Ooh. 
and Jiggly Drip Purple Jelly. What do you think they're making? Any, any thoughts? What do you think? Let's see. Yum, said Minka. It's a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Yum. Oh, what's all around? Wondered Mouse. Wink, blink, fireflies glowing. Try to catch one, said Minka. Then crackle, pop, boom. <gasps> What's that, wondered Mouse. Fireworks fly, every color in the sky. Hooray, said Minka. Hooray for summer, said Mouse. And hooray for 4th of July. <laughs> the end. Yay! All right, my friends. So for this craft, we're going to be making a windsock for 4th of July out of a paper, toilet paper roll. Are you guys ready? All right, let's go. All right, guys, for this craft, you'll need a piece of blue construction paper, a toilet paper roll, some tape, scissors, red streamers, and a white streamer. If you don't have streamers, you can substitute with ribbon, yarn, uh, construction paper, tissue paper, anything like that um, that has like the same light consistency, the thin consistency. And then we'll need a glue stick, string, and some star stickers. You could also use um, any kind of sticker. You can draw on your um, decorations or you could use sequins or rhinestones as well. The first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our toilet paper roll. We're gonna measure out how wide it is and then grab a pen or pencil and then make a line where it stops. That's going to be your guide of how you want to cut your, how wide you want to cut your toilet paper roll. You can also grab it again and make another line right here. So you follow your guideline on how wide it is and that's, we're going to want to cut that out. So then you have your guidelines. We're going to use some scissors and cut these lines out. Okay, great. And we'll take away the extra. Then this should be about the size of your roll. And now what we're going to do is we're going to apply glue onto our piece of construction paper. And we're going to glue this onto our toilet paper roll. Go ahead and keep rolling that. Make sure you have enough glue on there. Just gonna glue this closed. Keep rolling it. Make sure you're rolling tight. All right, there you go. And if you have any little excess edge or anything like that, you can always cut it off. Okay, and if the glue is not too secure, you can always just grab a piece of tape as well. And as an extra support, tape that closed. Next, we are going to cut a piece of string. I want to say about a foot or so of string and cut that off. Then we're going to grab a piece of tape 
and you're going to put some tape on the string and you are going to tape that to the inside of your tube like so and then we're going to do the same thing on the other side i'm going to grab a piece of tape place it on your string and we are going to tape the other side i think for this one we'll have to put it on this way like so sticky side up and then we're going to place it on the opposite side of our tube like so and then we have our paper tube and if it's funny or you feel like the thing the measurements off you can always readjust and just place it where you think it's better there you go so it's right towards the middle then we're going to use our stars or you can use what other else sticker you want or draw on them with different colored markers or pens or you could use rhinestones or you could use sequins i'm going to use these stars that i have and i'm just going to start placing them all over my paper roll tube as a decoration Okay, and then next, I'm gonna grab the streamers. I'm gonna cut a piece of streamer, and this streamer is gonna be hanging off the end of your tube. So depending on how long you want it is how long you'll cut it. And then once you cut your strip, we'll cut that strip in half, long ways. All right, then we will cut the same length with the red streamer that we did with the, the white. And if you don't have streamer, you can always use um, string or ribbon or yarn or anything that will um, be blowing, that can blow in the wind. And then again, we're gonna cut this in half long ways. Okay, then we're gonna grab a piece of tape and we're gonna tape these to the inside of our, the bottom inside of our tube, like so. Put a little piece of tape on them. And there's one. Grab another piece of tape and then I'm gonna alternate the the red and white so i did one red my next one will be white and tape that in there and then the next one will be red and i'll tape that in here on this side i'm going to do four you can do as many things or you can do string and streamer and have the different um, sizes and thicknesses hanging from the inside of your little windsock. I'm just gonna have the streamer on there, but you could add string as well. And then I'm gonna put the white one on this side. So see it alternates red, white, red, white, and I put four so then I know how many even number of ribbons. And now this is how your windsock 
will look like. The tape on the inside and your ribbon hanging off of it. And when it hangs, you can use this to hang it outside or maybe on a tree branch. And when the wind blows, your sock, your wind sock will be blowing in the wind with its little tail hanging out. All right, my friends. So here is our 4th of July wind sock. And I hope you guys enjoyed this craft and stay safe, everyone. Bye.